me on this ramen cheese recipe so i gotta try it the bro cheese and ramen that's so unhealthy like who in the right mind would try that that's crazy we have shit black my favorite curry gold butter um heavy whipping cream and some cheddar cheese just because that's like the only cheese that i have butter like two tablespoons melt it heavy whipping cream i don't know how much ah it's it's like smoky noodle seasoning Ugh. The sauce is like too thick, so I'm gonna add some pasta water to loosen up. <sighs> Two pieces of cheddar. I pray to God that this shit melts, bro. I swear to God. Cover the pan with a lid so that it can melt easier. I think. Noodles straight into the pan. <laughs> Back in there. Mix it. Mmm, yummy. Plate it. Oh. This is what it looks like. Okay, it's, it's pretty damn good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Let's do some cooking. Everybody knew a hot Cheeto girl in high school, okay? You know what I'm talking about. She would eat hot Cheetos for breakfast and walk the mile during PE. Today's video is dedicated to my shorty because we're making hot Cheeto wings. Starting off, we're gonna season ourselves some flour, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika. Basically everything you have in the cabinet. In our second bowl, we're gonna mix up some eggs. And the last thing we need are some hot Cheeto puffs. I don't have a food processor, so I had to improvise. Okay, you basically want small pieces so that we could bread our chicken. And yeah, just do the three-step breading process process like usual this is easy make sure that you get as much hot cheeto dust as you can on that chicken and we're gonna deep fry it at 350 degrees for about i think seven minutes wait for it ah it doesn't look crazy like it's so red it almost looks fake as for the flavor it went to the liquor store and it never came back i think the hot cheeto flavor gets canceled out once you fry it so you need some sauce okay but other than that the texture was crazy and overall it was actually pretty good I'm not gonna cut ice. Some brown sugar. Touch of cinnamon. Some fairly strong espresso. In. Touch of almond milk. All right, follow on Insta. Lady Bird and I will FaceTime you right now. Mm. Let's do some cooking. On today's menu, we have Max and Chi. Let's go! Starting off, you want to shred yourself some fresh Gruyere and cheddar cheese. Where do I buy the cheese? I buy mine at Trader Joe's because they have like a thousand different kinds. Moving on, we're going to make our roux, okay? A little bit of melted butter, flour mixed together until it's a little bit toasty. And at this point, we could add in our whole milk and heavy whipping cream. Make sure that your liquids are very cold or else you're going to get a very lumpy cheese sauce. Season it and taste it. And mine was so good, I could literally drink it out of a straw. All right, but 
but no. Mix in some of the cheese and let it melt. And once your sauce is frictionless, we're gonna add in the macaroni. He's using the wrong pasta. It has to be elbow. Shut up. We're trying a new noodle today, okay? A little bit of experimentation, if you will. Finish everything off with your cheese and panko breadcrumb. Bake it for 25 minutes and add some parsley. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Guys, picture this, okay? You wake up one winter morning. It's cold. You make some mac and cheese for your girl and her boyfriend. You guys cuddle. Wait, huh? What did he say? Let's do some cooking. Let's do some cooking. Chocolate mug cake. Ah, okay, I like that. Scrumptious, but most importantly, it's very easy and fast to make, so let's make it. In a big ass bowl, combine yourself some flour, cocoa powder, sugar, baking powder, a little nya of salt, and you basically want to mix that until there's no lumps. Proceed to add in some almond milk, vegetable oil, and some vanilla extract. Mix it up, and we'll basically end up with a chocolate cake batter, but without the egg. Ah, we're on our vegan shit, let's go! Moving on, get yourself a mug, and you want to fill it to about 75% of the way and then top it off with whatever you want okay maybe some chocolate marshmallows some parsley nah jk jk <laughs> Throw it into the microwave for about one minute. Could be more, could be less, depending on your microwave's gigabytes. Top it off with a mini scoop of ice cream. Ah, this microwaving shit is easy. Guys, did anyone else see that pop star music video? It's crazy because I was actually supposed to be in the video, but the address that they sent me took me to a Wendy's. <laughs> Let's do some cooking. Let's do some cooking.
Let's do some cooking. Let's do some cooking. <laughs> 